Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Energies for your person, Eight of Wands, the Chariot and the Five of Swords. What can we expect for this connection? Four of Wands, Three of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. High Priestess from the bottom of the deck, Silence and Intuition as factors that can play a huge role in this situation. Guys, we have two scenarios in this reading. One that can be about a breakup for some of you, a breakup that already took place, but we can say that your person may desire to reach out. They can bring to you an apology in order to at least try to rekindle the connection with you. And the second scenario instead is about an ongoing connection that has been challenged big time by certain behaviors that we can associate to your person because of the five of swords. Behaviors that can be a major source of disappointment for you, five of cups. The mindset, eight of pentacles, knight of pentacles that you can have may not be the same if we think about your person. They can be kind of more fleeting, you know, considering the eight of wands. The chariot is an idea about success that this person can have, but in this second scenario, the connection between the two of you is going to face a crossroads between the four of wands and the three of swords. If we think about the chance to be successful together in the long run or the opportunity to part ways because maybe the connection has expired its course. If we think about an ex that reaches out with an apology, you can be extremely busy, eight of pentacles. It's like you are doing your thing. You can expect an apology from this person, the knight of pentacles, but even if the apology comes to you, does it mean that you are available to give this person another chance? Because they can say that this time the two of you can be successful together, but your intuition, High Priestess, is going to play a decisive role in the evaluation of the words, Eight of Wands, that your ex can throw at you because they want to convince you basically to give them another chance. And this can be a five of sword dish mind game also. So let's go for another round for these energies. Let's see what we can get about uh, these two scenarios. When it comes to the X, maybe the two of you were committed, the four of ones. It seems that the breakup was a major one though. Here we go. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Two of Swords for the Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles for the Eight of Wands. Ace of Wands for the Chariot. Page of Pentacles for the Five of Swords. Five of Cups again for the Four of Wands. Four of Cups for the Three of Swords, Queen of Wands for the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Pentacles, bottom of the smaller deck, juggling, being iffy about the situation. This is about you guys. So unfinished business between you and your person in the two scenarios because of the Wheel of Fortune, because of the loop that we see in the Two of Pentacles, rough waters behind the man, struggling connection guys the one between you and this person so eight of pentacles ten of swords this is a rough combination of energies because it can describe a lot of effort put in a situation that cannot pay dividends it's like no rewards follow the effort that has been put in so this can be something that some of you already experienced if we think about the breakup and the Ten of Swords is deeply connected to the Five of Swords for obvious reasons, double the energy. So 
if we think about the X scenario, super difficult for this person to be successful. Uh, they can be good driven following the five of swords because they can think that they can conquer you. Once again, they want to win you over as the saying goes, slim chances to be successful. If we think about an ongoing connection that can be extremely passionate, guys, we can say that eight of wands, ace of wands, queen of wands, kind of interesting energies when it comes to that aspect, this connection can struggle with a progression in favor of a higher level of commitment. The Knight of Pentacles can become the energy of the offer that never comes for me. You can expect something more in favor of your relationship. There is something more is not coming because your person is settling for the bare minimum. Page of Pentacles versus the Knight of Pentacles. And that's why the success of the connection can be one about passion, the Ace of Wands, but not necessarily one about the Four of Wands as an energy with solid foundations, a common vision, and the chance to go the distance together. For this reason, Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, you are getting tired of waiting if we think about the ongoing connection that is struggling. And if we think about the breakup, you waited long enough and the connection was a disappointment at some point. Five of Cups, recurrent energy. Two of Swords, you have already made your decision if we think about the breakup. The Moon in the background can describe also factors that you couldn't understand about the connection that was struggling big time. If we think about the ongoing connection, you will have to make a decision. Your person doesn't want to let go, even if the connection is struggling. They are getting what they want. So what do you want? High Priestess, go within, pay attention to how the situation can unfold in front of you. And if you perceive that this is the last mile, you will have to act accordingly, even if your person can ask you to reignite a new cycle. Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Energy about communication, if we think about the X scenario, because they can say that they have an apology for you. In reality, they only want to reignite the Ace of Wands energy, because this is the idea of success, the chariot that your ex can have. Page of Pentacles. Fulfilling a due diligence, it's like they are gathering information about you in order to figure out if you are free, if you can be available, what's your current status, and so forth. But deep within, they are still the same five of swords. The man in green and red, or the woman in green and red, the bearer of the three of swords. We got the energy. If we think about a struggling connection, your person can say that everything is fine. Eight of wands. They can say that they are sorry if we think about a higher level of commitment, but it's like they want you to wait for that progression. The Ace of Wands can be available. This is their idea of success. They are winning a mental game between the two of you, a cerebral game, the Five of Swords. They want it their way. Instead, they are settling for the bare minimum, kind of thinking that you can be satisfied with that. So in the progression, guys, if we think about the breakup and the apology that can come your way for once you were together, maybe committed relationship, maybe a marriage for some of you, the situation didn't go well, five of cups. You can remember that. Three of swords, another energy that can be quite heavy, broken heart, broken trust. This can be the reason for you in particular to manifest the four of cups energy if we think about the man or woman under the tree. So not necessarily interested in the opportunity to reignite a new cycle with someone that already broke your heart. The past, the three cups down below, can play a role. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands, unfinished business, yes. Queen of Wands, passion between you and your ex, yes, again. Remember your worth, the Queen of Wands can do that because you will have to make a decision about what can be the best possible thing for you. And chances are a reunion may not be that auspicious opportunity if we think about it. Struggling connection, the four of ones can be an issue. It's not coming. It can be a source of disappointments for you. Five of cups, three of swords kind of increasing its relevance. 
your person can be the one out of reach, unavailable, not interested in a higher level of commitment. They can talk about it, but they cannot back up their words. It's a mind game, five of swords, the three of swords can hit the connection. Time is ticking, wheel of fortune, passion is not enough to keep the cycle alive. At some point, guys, even if it can be disappointment, and I get it, you will have to make a decision if you want to end the cycle. If you do that because you are not getting what your heart truly desires, you will fulfill the cycle. Wheel of Fortune, it can become a lucky break for you. And then also cutting communication can be more than an option with a partner that is falling short big time. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.